Hello friends, I'm Tim Wildsmith, and in this video we're going to be unboxing and reviewing the ESV New Testament with Psalms and Proverbs from Crossway. Okay, I was surfing around on the Crossway website the other day. Yes, when you're a Bible reviewer, when you love Bibles as much as I do, I tend to kind of make my way to different publisher websites and surf around and try to find different Bibles and things like that. What's new? What's coming out? Those sorts of things. Anyway, I noticed that Crossway had a new... I'm not sure if they've ever done this Bible before or if it's just a new edition or if maybe they've had one in the past and they're redoing it. I don't know, but there was a couple of new releases that were the ESV New Testament with Psalms and Proverbs, and they looked really cool. I'm a sucker for a great New Testament that you can kind of carry on the go with you, have something slim, but you also get the Psalms and the Proverbs in there as well. So I decided to order up a couple of these and check them out. That's what's in this box. We're gonna unbox it and take a closer look. Are you ready? Let's do it. Okay. Sawing into this thing. I'm trying not to cut anything because it's a very thin little box in here and yep it does have two small oh that's cool two small little bibles in here let me show you this on the v cam so we've got a little receipt from them i've got one is the new testament of psalms and proverbs in genuine leather so there you have that one real nice little small slim line box and then here's one it's more of like a little slip case you can see it on the side this is going to be the true tone edition so there you see uh, it's got all the different, you know, stuff on the side of there. New Testament with Psalms and Proverbs. That looks really, really nice. Take the box, toss it this way. Okay, so New Testament with Psalms and Proverbs. Two editions right here. True tone with a little slip case and then a nice little uh, clamshell box on the genuine leather edition. These are both of the editions that they had on the website. So let's go ahead and take this one out here. Oh, that's kind of nice. What color is that? It says True Tone Chestnut. So it's kind of like a reddish brown. Look at that. That is really nice. It's kind of got a, like a cherry, a cherry wood. Like I'm thinking of like, you know, a dining room table or something like that. It has like a cherry wood. It's got a perimeter stitch on it. That's really, that's a nice kind of faux leather look. Again, there you can see the spine, the different uh, writing on the spine there. It's kind of debossed in there, blind stamped. That looks really nice. It's got a kind of a brown paste down liner. It's got a gold uh, art gilding on the page edges, no dye or anything, but it's got a little bit of a gold shimmer in there. And then, yes, this is what I love about this. Check this out. Nice single column design, really easy, like a reader style New Testament. I think this is really cool. It's actually got gold accents on the page, the, the headings and the page and the chapter numbers and things like that. The section headings and the chapter numbers are like a gold, even the titles of the books are a gold ink, which kind of has like a nice little, a nice little zhuzh to it. Very generously spaced on the page. It's got a nice uh, type size. Let me see on the back here if it says eight and a half point type, which is pretty good. So let me open this one up. Ooh, that's, that feels great. This is the genuine, the black genuine leather. So you have a chestnut true tone, which is the synthetic leather, and this is a genuine, ooh, that is nice. It's got a nice textured black genuine leather cover. On the spine on this one, you get the gold foil on there, the gold stamping, so you can see that a little bit better, but it's the same design as the other one. Do we get two ribbons on both of these? We do, we get two little ribbons in there. So there's the two stacked next to each other. That's really, really nice. Great size, really small and portable. And yeah, this, yeah, it's got a nice little leather smell to it. It feels good. It's got, you can kind of see this in there. Like it's got a nice little texture in there in the grain, like on that genuine leather, same gold on the edges. And then, yeah, that really nice. I'm very, first impressions, right? Really impressed with the typesetting and the layout here. Single column, lexicon typeface very comfortable for me to read like this. This is this is really cool. Okay, let's do this. Let's do an overhead video. Let's dive into these and show you all the specs and give you a closer look at what these Bibles have to offer. Before we dive in, hit that like button for me. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. These are the ESV New Testaments with Psalms and Proverbs from Crossway. Okay, quick look at the box. So this one, the True Tone, comes with like this little slip case. So it just slides right in. So it just says New Testament Psalms and Proverbs, True Tone Chestnut Color, and then it's got all the specs on the back of there, so it slips right in. The Genuine Leather Edition comes with like a nice little 
clamshell box if I can get this thing open. Um, so a little bit more protection if you wanted to store it, that kind of thing. But they both look great. Look at this, like really nice, kind of see that texture in there? Like that is a really nice texture on the black one. So this is genuine leather. And then the true tone is like a little bit more smooth and glossy, but still feels really nice. So, I mean, overall, these are both, I think, two lovely Bibles that do the trick. You know what I'm saying? So um, let's just show this on the side. So there you see New Testament with Psalms and Proverbs, the Crossway logo. They both say the exact same thing, but this one's going to be blind stamped on the true tone. So I'd love to know in the comments which one you like of this, which which of this style you prefer. I mean, you can read the top one a little bit easier, but that's a little bit more subtle. This one I noticed I don't, I can't even tell if this has a perimeter stitch. It doesn't. It's like a tooled line around the outside. There's not an actual stitch in there, but then the true tone has a little stitch. So that looks nice. Um, you do have the, the ISBN number kind of stamped in the back of that one, and then it's in gold in the back of that one. They both have a little bit of gold gilding on the pages. I noticed after I did the um, unboxing part, I noticed that this one, you can kind of flip straight through it. The gold is not catching, whereas on the this one, you can, I'm not sure if you can hear that. I'm going to put it up to the microphone. It kind of has gotten stuck a little bit on the Genuine Leather Edition, but that's the kind of thing where if you just kind of start to use this Bible a little bit and play through the pages, it's going to come unstuck. But overall, they both look really nice on the outside. Um, let me see here. This one is, the retail price on this one is $45 for the Genuine Leather, and it's $30. So it's about a $15 retail difference. They're going to be even less expensive than that. I'll put links in the description to where you can purchase these. But um, they look great. They feel great. I really I really like the size of this. And, and once we get inside, I really like it. So um, as just as far as size goes at the text block, these are four and three quarters inches wide and six and three quarters inches tall. So a little bit bigger than a four by six index card, about a three quarters of an inch bigger all the way around. And then when I measured these, they are less than an inch thick, about three quarters of an inch thick. So a nice, small, compact size. They both come with Smythestone bindings. They both have uh, paste down liners. You see this one has a little bit of a glossier in there. And this is like a more of a matte finish brown paper. They both come with two ribbons. So the chestnut ones are kind of a brown to match that. You get black with this one. Um, really, really great overall outside look kind of feel. So let me just set the black one aside and I'll open this guy up. So blank page on the inside, there you get your title page and your presentation page. So it says New Testament Psalms and Proverbs presented to, by, and on. Really simple. Open this up, title page. So here we have New Testament with Psalms and Proverbs, copyright 2001, text edition 2016. If I bring this up, you can see this a little bit better. Printed in China by R.R. Donnelly. Really, really nice. A table of contents page. So you start with Matthew, you go all the way through Revelation, and then you add Psalms and Proverbs. You get the preface to the ESV. Again, single column all through here. This is all the information about the translation. And then you start right at the beginning on Matthew. So I push this down. It's not going to want to stay totally closed, but it's pretty small. So if I do this and bring it up for you, there you see kind of those gold accents, both in the headings, the, the titles of the books, as well as the chapter numbers. And then kind of moving through there, just a really nice, generously spaced, easy to read. It's eight and a half point typeface, which I think is sitting here a couple feet away from it. It's really nice and easy to read. I think that's good. Um, and just a, a really lovely, generously margin. Look at all this space. That's about a half inch on the inside, a little bit more than that on the outside. So you're not, it's not going into the gutter. There's plenty of space. I mean, theoretically, you could open this up and you could take some notes in here. There's enough space for you to do that. Again, small, simple, straightforward. There's no cross-references. There's no textual footnotes. So it's just the text of scripture on the page. I really like this. Again, if you're studying the New Testament, if you want to do Psalms and Proverbs, this is a really great look. So um, let me get to the end here, Revelation. So the actual New Testament portion of the Bible is about 479 pages, exactly 479 pages. And you cross over here and it says Psalms and Proverbs. So it keeps the page numbers going, so you're still in the 400s there. And you get this lovely single column uh, poetic typesetting here where the lines all fit on the page for the most part. They're indented the right way. This is a lovely way to read poetry. Let me kind of pull this up for you and get you in there with Psalm 5. 
I just love that. You know, the line starts, the next line is indented a little bit, the verse numbers are spread out here so you can find the verse numbers, but you can also kind of ignore the verse numbers and just read the poetry of the Psalms. When you get to uh, the Proverbs, it does the exact same thing. Again, gold accents on the pages there you see down in chapter 3. Really, really beautifully laid out. I expect this from Crossway. They do a great job designing their Bibles. Um, and getting in here, we get, so it's 737 pages total for the Bible. Then you get a couple of blank sheets. There's no maps. There's no coordinates. There's no, there's no concordance. There's no extra features. It's just the text of the New Testament in the ESV adding in the um, Psalms and Proverbs. I really love this. I'm actually, I, the feel of this True Tone edition I really like. The, the, the Genuine Leather is great, but um, the quality of it is not like, it's only $15, so if you want black, go for it. But the quality of it is not anything over the top. I think they're both really nice, but just the overall look and feel of these is is very solid. This is a, this is a I was, I, I did this because I thought it would be a different kind of review, but I am pleasantly surprised by these New Testaments from Crossway. So there you have it, the ESV New Testament with Psalms and Proverbs from Crossway. I really like these. As I've said multiple times in this video, I love the single column typesetting. I love that how easy this is to read. I imagine if you're someone who's saying, I want an on-the-go Bible, or maybe you're doing a read-through of the New Testament, you don't need the Old Testament, this is a great option. Or even if you're doing a read-through of the New Testament, but you want to read a psalm every day or a proverb every day, I really like these. Beautifully designed. I, 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 really, I, I really do like both of these quite a bit. As always, if you scroll down to the description of this video, I'll put links to where you can find one of these. I'll also put links to Bible Review Blog on Instagram and Facebook so you can come find me on social media and follow along there. I'd love to hear from you. Let me know what you think about these. If you have any questions, drop those things in the comments and I will get back to you with a reply. And once again, hit that like button for me. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. This was a ton of fun. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next time.